Welcome to Kerbal Space Program, but it is in real skill using the RSS mod. Right now we're on our ship, uh, Mars Enfra. We're refueling with a little refueler ship you can see right there. Liquid fuel powered. That can store uh, about 6,000 units of liquid fuel and transport it. Unfortunately, it doesn't have enough delta V to make it to low Earth orbit and then back to the moon, so we do have to steal a bit of the fuel from Mars Enfra every time we feel it. A lot of these missions were done to bring Mars in for two lunar orbit, and then we have to do a lot more landings to fill that up. So uh, here's a little compilation of that. Okay, so we're leaving in uh, seven days. This is pretty much what everything's been leading up up to. Like all the infrastructure I've put up here is for this mission. Now that mission finally gets to leave, meaning we can use this infrastructure for anything else we want. Just a free mission. Well, free missions, infinite missions, technically. Probably a mission to uh, expand the infrastructure again. Because I don't want like, I'm probably going to be building even more powerful ships on Mars Info. Maybe less part count, but if I use the S4 tanks, those things are, like, massive. Filling that up is going to be a nightmare. If I want to move asteroids around, I'm going to need a lot of fuel for it. So, you can see what I've been doing. Uh, so, we're encountering Mars right at our descending. Uh, that way, we can just use the atmosphere to slow down, and the inclination uh, change can be done around Mars. Though the only way to bring it closer or further is around here, I believe. So we'll need a second maneuver to bring us close enough to enter the atmosphere, because right now it's way too far. Ok, 
can't do them at the same time. That sucks. Bye. So is that in the right spot? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Shit. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Uh... Shit. Okay, I left... I left the only engineer that was going to go to Mars around the moon. I just left Bill here. Right? Yep, there he is, sitting in his little cabin. We gotta see if he's got enough fuel to make it there. Probably not, if I were to guess, but we'll check. He does, okay. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, we gotta wait for, uh... We gotta... If, can we wait in orbit and meet up with him? That's my bad. Okay, well, <laughs> getting a lot of pinks in here now. I'm not used to. Okay, Billy boy, you're you're going on a mission. He's got the shortest burn time of them all because he was never meant to go to Mars from the moon. But he can, which is good because we messed up. We're also gonna have to train and send another engineer here. Oh my god, I, I, I'm just an idiot. At least we can afford it. This is right next to Earth. And I guess we have another module that can do stuff. So that's good. Like maybe a... This can ferry crew between Phobos and Diamos. Without having to, you know, move Mars Infra. What was this thing called? Saul Goodman! <laughs> oh, I... I know why I called it that. Because I forgot some uh, modules that I had to bring. I think this was giving power and thermal control to the uh, orbital moon station. Which kind of sucks that I got rid of it. But whatever. Feel free to make that your wallpaper if you want. Imagine spending three days just to meet up with the craft that you were supposed to be in three days ago. Like, I told myself not to forget him, and I freaking did. So, this is, this is pretty cool. We could totally get a picture with him. I could probably dock another module to this thing to let it land on the surface of Mars. Because I kind of scrapped that idea in favor of the much cheaper uh, MMPD mission. Whatever it is, it doesn't really roll off the tongue. Will they make it to Mars? Or will they all perish trying? Find out in the next episode of Kerbal Space Program RSS. Uh, that's the end of this one. Basically just past few months, I'd hop on, I'd do a mission, or I'd do a landing run with the uh, ore hauler, and then that basically takes 40 minutes, and then I call it quits, 
and rinse and repeat for a while. Then I designed some future missions. They're pretty cool looking so far. I can't show you any of it yet, but you'll love them. And you'll see this thing make its mission in the next episode. Next episode, uh, or yeah, at the end of the next episode. Next episode, I'm going to just do a bunch of smaller stuff, like fixing the rover, etc. And then I'll do this Mars Infra mission. This was never supposed to be here, because I made an accident. But, you know, all is well that ends well, I guess. Also, if you like this episode, you might enjoy watching the rest of the series, which is uh, less focused on just one mission, more spread out. Which is why we have a bunch of episodes and we're only... How far? We're only four years into the career. Even though it should be way longer, most people just time warp and do one mission at a time. I have several missions running at the same time. Two Jupiter missions, this Mars mission, and a uh, bunch of other stuff that I'm going to do in the meantime, such as the rover repair. So if you do like it, hit the like button. It's always, you know, pretty appreciated. And the subscribe button too, we're almost at 500, and it would be pretty nice to hit that.